Trish, I mean, you have Rambo. <laughs> of course I have. <laughs> so I'm super excited for your film. I was I was thrilled to see it. It's a, it's a grenade full of action, um, indeed. So I'm curious to know how you came up with the storyline and why during these days of World War II. Uh, the quickest answer is that I always wanted to make a, a film about cold rush in Finland in the old days. And uh, when I, a couple of years ago, like, I don't know why, but I was thinking about the situation in Lapland in 44 when, when the Nazis were leaving leaving to Lapland and, and basically destroying everything. Uh, I was thinking what would happen if the, these two ideas would combine into a movie. Like I would have a Finnish guy with a lot of gold and he has to face like the iconic bad guys of every, like I think Nazis are the best like villains you can have in a movie because you can do what what you want to do with them and no one cares basically no one no one feels sympathy sympathy for for the nazis so that's how the idea came up the film was phenomenal the music not to mention it was a great build up for suspense how did you how did you work with the person that came in to add the music in the film that was one of the hardest process of of making the film in my end because uh, when I was editing usually it's easy to find like uh, like temp music for for the edits like from another film or something like that but but I couldn't find anything that would fit uh, to this film and and I have a lot I had a lot of ideas what it should be but I'm not a musician myself so it was a pretty like to, uh, long conversation with the composers Yuri and, and Tuomas and and when I finally heard the first piece of music uh, and I understood that they knew what exactly what I needed I was so happy happy with the and I still I'm really happy with the music because it combines like all kinds of like really old stuff and and new stuff also and I, I think it's a nice combo that was one of my favorite things about your film the music and how it, it was just so perfect for for those sus suspenseful explosion yeah. moments excuse my language but how is it that you found that one motherfucker you do not want to mess with with this actor Jorma 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 is uh he's been uh in all of my films basically the sto short films also when I was young and I've always loved him because he has such, such a like huge charisma in him and, and there are not too many people who could pull that kind of like role off like like Jorma does because he doesn't have that much that much like dialogue or, or anything like that so you just need to look convincing enough and interesting enough to like uh, hold the weight of the whole film on, on your back in a way. It's funny how you mentioned he has the charisma uh, mm. for, the, for this character. And with you having Rama in the background, I mean, I mean, I can see, I can see where you were going with this direction. Mm -hmm. Well, First Blood is one of my favorite movies and it, it it had a like huge impact to me when I was a kid. Now, did you consider doing this film um, not in English? Uh, when I was writing, I th I thought it would be cool if if the Nazis were talking like German, but uh, it was so much easier to finance the whole stuff with with Nazis speaking English because. I always have that problem because I'm from Finland and I want to do Finnish stories and and um, so that was my solution that Finnish people basically don't talk and Nazis talk English so it's easy to fund uh, to have the finance to it like like you do in, in American films also a lot of films with Nazis talking English basically and I, I don't mind. 
I think it works. Now you have obviously a badass characters, but then you also have the female cast. Um, can you talk about how what made you want to integrate this this female team? Well, I I of course needed I, I needed somebody from Finland in a way to explain the legend behind behind Artami. Like that there should be somebody who who would know something more and uh, that's why the, the women are there and I also because there's a lot of like actual events happening in in uh, in 44 when when Nazis actually took some Finnish prisoners with them and uh, so and it also gives like one more reason to hate hate the Nazis that they are treating the women really badly and and uh, I think it's really cool when the women have their revenge in the end. That was a cool scene. What was your favorite chapter to shoot? Well, I love all of them but I like the beginning really really much and uh, I well really hard to say but Kill Em All was probably the hardest chapter to shoot, but it was the most fun also. <laughs> Kill Them Dead was my favorite too. Yeah. That was definitely my favorite. What was one of the scenes that you, I mean, obviously as writing, you're, you're, you're enthused to, you know, be on set for and shoot, but which one was one of the scenes that finally the moment came and you were just like, as envisioned? And it, it was most of the times like that because basically the the script is written more like a novel because you don't have that much dialogue so i had to think it really clearly how it would look and how everything would be and and because the place is basically empty where we went to shoot so we could recreate everything as it was in the script basically but one of the coolest things definitely was for me when when Artami for the first time sees the whole Nazi crew in, in, the, in the road when he is passing them by uh, when we finally had everything all the crew and all the people and all the like tanks and and the war cars and everything was there uh, it was so cool to see it and the dog I love the dog. That gives that says everything. That says a lot about the character. Yeah. At first I was thinking a lot more like manly and scary dog for for Artami. But that that dog is actually like uh Yorma's actual dog. And and I saw it in one uh, of the photos Yorma was sending me how he looks nowadays, and the dog was behind him. And the producer was saying that, what if that would be Artemis dog? And I was like, well, no. But I thought about it for a minute and, and realized that would be a great idea to have like a so cute dog for, for Artemis. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. I enjoyed your film. I am a fan of John Wick, but it just kind of, your film swept John Wick to the side in my book. So... <laughs> Thanks. That, that and that's that's a, that's a, I think that's a, a quite a statement. Um, yeah, that is. So thank you so much for your time again, and congratulations with the film. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye.